In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a repeated shape design. This is what your end result will look like. Six different shapes, six different colors. And it's more, it's a, simpler than it looks actually. So we're going to start off by creating a new art board, a square one. So go to File, New, uh, make sure it's in inches and eight inches each. Click on the Create. Now we're going to select a shape. Normally the shape tool looks like a rectangle, but remember all those shapes live within that little tab. Let's start off with a star, and we're going to have to make our first shape larger than our artboard. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, just um, pinching it on my trackpad. You can also use the command or control minus, and I'm going to click and drag the star shape. Remember that if I use my up and down arrow arrows, I can increase the vertices or um, you know, decide how many vertices you want. I'm going to let go, use my selection tool, move this into this area, and then um, make this larger than my artboard. I'm going to hold down the shift key to keep this proportional. Ooh. Make sure that the star is covering the whole artboard. And let's see. Just clicking and dragging to get it like that. Okay. Now we're going to fill this star shape with a gradient. Under a window, you can get all the panels you want, and gradient is one of them. And we are going to change the gradient color. Make sure that it's on a radial gradient. And we're going to change this to whatever color you'd like. If you just double click on this circle, it'll bring up this option. If we're not getting color here, you can just click on these little lines, click on RGB, and now you've got your color selection. Let's do a light blue to a dark blue. Now I'm clicking on the little, double clicking on the black, getting my color, and let's go to a nice dark blue. All right, now we're going to go up to making sure this, the star is still selected. I'm going to go to Object, Transform, Transform Each. And we're going to scale this 90% horizontal and vertical. So basically we're going to ask it to make a copy of the star a little bit smaller and to rotate it 25 degrees. Now if I click copy, it's going to copy that star, scale it down 90% and rotate it 25 degrees. Watch what happens. See? Now all I have to do is do command or control D which is sort of duplicating that idea. It's just command D, command D, command D, command D over and over again and we get this really interesting pattern. Now notice I do have a stroke, small black stroke on this. Um, I just moved that gradient panel to over here to attach it to, to this larger panel. Um, but what I wanted to say is that we can take the stroke off if you want. Click on stroke and do no stroke. That might look better. That just did it to this one little star here because that was the only thing selected. If I do a command or control A and I've got all the stars, then I can put a no stroke on that. And you can see the difference there. All right, so now we have our first repeated shape. Now we have to make a document, an artboard, where we can copy and paste all of these onto. So we're going to go up to File New again. This time I want you to use a letter, but make sure it's horizontal. You might be able to find that under Print, Letter, Make sure, the, make sure the orientation is horizontal, click Create. So now we have a blank document. We're going to come back over here to our pattern. Now if I want just the square, just the pattern that's inside the square, not all of the stars. So I'm going to go back to my Shape tool, select the rectangle, and I'm just going to click and drag a square right over that. Select All, which is a Command A or Control A. And I'm going to go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. What that is, is it's basically telling um, Illustrator to just clip everything outside of that square and just have the design in the square. So now I can use my selection tool, make sure it's selected, and just copy this. Command C, you can go to Edit Copy if you want, and Paste. Rescale this a little smaller so we're going to be able to fit all six designs on there. And let's go back and make another design. 
So I'm just going to select this and hit the delete key on the keyboard and let's make another shape. How about, and this you can just experiment with. I'm going to do like a nice, I'm going to do an ellipse. Okay. Move this into the center. For this one, I'm going to experiment and see if, I, it definitely has to go outside the square to some degree, but I don't think it has to cover the entire square. So I'm going to sort of do that. Let's do another color. Double clicking on the little uh, light blue. Let's do a light green to dark green this time. And maybe you might want to experiment going from dark to light. This little icon here, reverse gradient, if I click on that, I've got my dark on the left and my light on the right. So you can kind of experiment with that kind of a look. And again, we're just going to go up to object, transform, transform each. Look, it's remembered 90% and 25% uh, degrees. So I'm just going to click on copy once and now I can do my command or control D again and again and again. And I kind of can make like, it's almost like a tessellation. Now, um, it did not cover my artboard, so that is a little bit of a problem. So what I'm going to do is select everything. I can do that by um, doing a Command A, and then I'm just going to scale this up so that it does cover my artboard. Is that big enough? A little bit on quite. There we go. And remember, we now need to make a clipping mask. So we'll go back to our shape, get our rectangle tool, make a square over that. Make sure everything is selected. Select all or Command A. Object, clipping mask, make. Use my selection tool, copy, paste. And let's try to keep these about the same size. I'm holding down the shift key to keep it proportional. And then we'll go back and you'll just keep experimenting. I'm going to hit the delete key to, to get rid of this. I want to show you a new tool, which is really fun. It's called the um, shape builder tool. And basically what you can do is add, uh, make a bunch of different shapes and then use a shape builder tool to put them all together. Like you can see in this animation. So let's do that. I'm going to start off with a circle. And then I'm going to add some rectangles to this. Maybe coming off in these areas. OK. Um, maybe I'll be a little bit more careful getting the sort of the center point of these rectangles right on the edge of that, just to make them a little bit more symmetrical. All right. Now I'm going to select all. I can draw a box around all of them to select them with my selection tool. Then I'm going to go over to the shape builder tool and watch what happens as I hover my mouse around this. If I click and drag, it's going to bring all these shapes into one. See, one custom shape. And we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to make it large. We're going to use my selection tool, make it large enough so that it's filling the whole shape or sorry, the whole artboard like we did before. Said like the giant star. Okay, and then object, transform, transform each, copy, and make sort of like a gear shape. I did mean to change my color. What I can do is I can do a command A, select all, and we can just change the gradient right now. Let's do a pink to dark purple. Let's make a lighter, look, I'm sorry, dark purple. I'm going to add a little bit more contrast by making that pink a little bit lighter. I kind of like that lighter contrast. All right, now what's the next step? Making a clipping mask. Go back to our shape, making a square over the top of all of this. Object, clipping mask, make. Oops. Now, if you get this, it's, me it's meaning that we did not select all of our shapes first, right? It's just the square selection. We need all of them. So go back to select all. Try that again. Object, clipping mask, make. Okay, use my selection tool. Copy, go back over here. 
and paste. All right, and you're gonna continue until you have six different patterns, six different designs. You're obviously gonna have to resize these so that they're gonna fit properly on the um, artboard. And once you have your six shapes, you wanna um, modify your artboard size so that it looks good so that they're all kind of looking like this right so that there's not an extra a lot of extra white and you can do but that by using your art this is the artboard tool and you can literally just move this in and make this the size that you need probably something like that um, and then just go back to your selection tool and now and then you'll you'll be ready to go so I want the end result to look something like this um, have fun, make some custom shapes, make them colorful, and uh, do a good job.